and also something I struggle with is the new two passage structure. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's harder to, they always ask what's common that they talk about, but it's like, they ask about the really niche details. Um, I try to do like a keyword search, but again, like scanning the two passages can be really time consuming. And sometimes I think something's in one, but not the other, but tends to be in both. And I have to go again, do like do the search again. Um, and often like, because they often diverge a little bit or diverge completely in opinion, um, they always, the questions tend to always ask about the opinions. And I find that that's also a really big problem as well. I always get a lot wrong in those passages. Yeah, those can be a little bit different, sometimes a little bit harder even. And so one exercise you could apply, and this would apply to all of reading comp and logical reasoning as well, is as an exercise, summarize for yourself, what's the main point of each passage? Paraphrase it, put it in your, your own words to test yourself and see whether you truly understand what they were talking about. And then yeah. for these dual passages as well, as an exercise, just test yourself every single one that you do. They've been appearing for the past 10 plus years since June, 2007. So you could simply run through all the dual passages specifically as a drill, not all of, not all 30 plus of them, but maybe the ones from 2007 to 2009. Mm -hmm. And simply run through asking yourself, where are there points of overlap? Where are there points of potential disagreement? And oftentimes, the passages won't be directly at odds with each other. Rather, there will be simply, as you said, a small point of overlap. But for the most part, they're talking about different things. Like one might talk about insects in general. The other talks about yeah. honeybees in particular. Yeah, yeah. And so that's, as you said, niche topics. There's that small area yeah. of overlap. And I would just focus to, to test yourself to see, can you improve on that? I mean, you've got some mm. time till the next LSAT. You could drill this and work on it, but I think it is largely a matter of practice. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.